Hi, my name is Zai, and I'm the author of the Heroes Fall book series, and I'm a long-time gamer. I can type at about 110 words per minute, and I spend a lot of time on keyboards. In my experience, you can game and type on pretty much any board. So with that in mind, why should you buy this board here, the Cougar Attack X3? The short answer is that it's a good quality, cheap board with some good features, and it's targeted toward gamers. But this isn't the only one, so let's get into the long answer because you'll have to decide if this suits your preferences or not. First, it uses Cherry MX keys. This copy that I have uses Cherry MX browns, meaning there is a little tactile bump but no click. But you can get them in black, red, and blue keys too. Or in basic terms, hard to press in, easy to press in, and clicky. You have the N key functionality attached to this key here. Just hold down the function key and then press it. This will allow you to hold down as many keys as you like. Here's this quick demonstration in six key mode. And now I'll do the same with the end key rollover. There's an exposed aluminum plate behind the keys, giving it a more premium look. 1000 Hertz and one millisecond response. I've tested this against my best board and it performs equally as well. Red backlight behind all the keys except the spacebar, and it has onboard memory to store all your settings. It allows up to 10 macros per mode. It has three modes, so a total of 30 stored on the board. Many boards that don't have extra keys use a function key to achieve a similar result. That's this one right here. The Windows key on this board is on the other side, and you can lock it by simply holding down function and pressing that key. To unlock, repeat. There are dedicated volume buttons on the top right. These are not plasticky, they actually feel a bit rubbery and spongy. Moving on, we have our media keys using the function key on F9 to F12. On F5 to F8 using the function key, you can change the bowling rate. And then from F1 to F3, you can change through the different modes. And on F4, we have the LED control. There are five different modes. Breathing. Off. Low medium, and high. As this is an RGB, the lights tend to be brighter, so it doesn't need a whiteboard behind it. However, the silver finish does help illuminate it a little more. The dimensions of the board are 17 centimeters by 46 centimeters, and it's about four centimeters high, and the stands underneath give you an extra centimeter. On the base, we have rubber feet on either side, rubber feet on the stands on both sides, so even when you raise them, they still won't slide. There is no cable management system. The cable is a smooth braid, but as you barely move the keyboard, this should just help your desk look a little more elegant, as there won't be any wear and tear on it. Due to the open design, it should be easy to clean with either a can of compressed air or an air blower like this. And if you remove the keys, you should be able to use a brush to clean them too. O-rings are easy enough to put on, simply take the key off, put the O-ring over the top. Now you can either just put that straight back on there and let the key do the work, or you can try to push it down using a toothpick or something along those lines. And now here's a full sound test, starting off slow and gaining in speed. The software is centralized, so all of your Kuka products will be in one place. You can change the mode with these three buttons here or on the keyboard. In performance, you can change the polling rate and end key rollover with the repeat delay. But as far as I can tell, you cannot make your own commands to work with the function key. However, you can customize each key, giving it an advanced function like launch program, a mouse function, or media function. I've tested this board in game as well. Here's me using the Cougar 550M with the Attack X3. 
and their new arena gaming mousepad. The game I'm playing is Quake Live. In conclusion, I've enjoyed using this board. It's worked flawlessly, I haven't had any issues with it, and I think it will look really good in setups that use red. It's great to see some extra competition in the mechanical market. There are still some gaps to be filled, but this brings us one step closer to finding the right board for our individual preferences. Hope that helps, subscribe for more mouse reviews and keyboard related videos. I'll leave some Amazon links in the description if you want to purchase any of these products. And a quick special thank you to Kuga for sending this board out to me. Subscribe for more mouse reviews and keyboard videos. Thanks for watching, like this video, and I'll catch you in the next.